Hi Year 2, I hope you're all safe and well. This is just a short film to talk to you about the work I'd like you to do at home in week three of our homeschool learning, week beginning the 21st of January, so next week, okay? You might want to have a pencil and a piece of paper next to you so you can jot down any notes. And don't forget, you can pause the video at any point so that you can write things down and then continue playing when you're ready, okay? So I'm going to share, you, share with you some slides then of the activities that I'd like you to do this week, okay? So here we are, week beginning the 25th of January. So we're starting, as usual, with our phonics and spelling. And on this slide then you can see that I've got the alphabet song and the link there for that. So that's again, practicing your letter names and the sounds that those individual letters make so that you can reinforce that learning. There's also then the phonics play link, which again, at the moment is all free. So we've got the username Jan21 and the password home, and you can access any of the phase four or phase five games that we use and we play at school, okay? You can see then that for phase four, We've got two sounds this week. We've got the ill sound and the f sound. So for phase four, so these are children that usually work with Mrs. White, we've got b, ill, bill, f, ill, fill, h, ill, hill, w, ill, will, k, u, i, f, cliff, s, n, i, f, sniff, a uh, huff, p, a uh, puff, and then your tricky words are will and was. For phase five, again we've got two sounds. We've got the O split digraph, so the O something E, and the U split digraph, so the U something E. Okay, so your words are old, hold, hope, hope. N O's nose, j oak joke, h o n home. You've also got t tube tube, t u n tune, sh shoot shoot, use use. And your tricky words are come, some, and children. Okay. So tips for practicing those spellings then. So we've got writing them out three times using our look, cover, write and check. We've got bubble writing of those words. We've got rainbow writing of those words, reinforcing and practicing the order that those letters come in. You could also get somebody at home to play hangman with you. Again, practicing the letter order, thinking about the spellings and how we spell those words. You could also try writing a sentence using your words, thinking about how you would use it in your real writing to try and encourage you to use it perhaps in your independent writing. And then on Friday, try and get somebody at home to test you on those spellings. And then don't forget to email them through to me at ash at house.coventry.sch.uk. Thinking a little bit more then about your speed, your sounds and your spelling, we've got some speed sounds work, okay? So again, it's on phonics play and it's those speed trials that we do in class, okay? So have a go at those phase five sounds, looking at how quickly you can recall those sounds and try and see if you can improve your time each time you do it. You've also then got some phase five words there to use. So when you read through these words, I want you to have a go at segmenting and blending them to read all of them. For example, then we've got k, u, oud, cloud, sk, out, scout, and so on. So segment and blend as you read through these phase five words. Also then linked to reading, as I mentioned last week, Oxford Owl at the moment is free, so you can sign up for free. You just need an email address and a password. And there are lots of free eBooks for you to read, okay? You can choose them by age, you can choose them by interest, you can choose them by your reading level, but there really are lots of really lovely books that you can read on phones, on iPads, on laptops, and it's a great, 
a great um, tool to use at the moment. And it's really important that you do keep reading a little bit every day. Maths then this week, we've got our White Rose Maths books then again. And on Monday, you're doing some work on related facts on page 18 and 19. Tuesday, again, related facts on page 20 and 21. Wednesday, you've got number bonds to 100, multiples of 10 on page 22 to 23. Thursday, bonds to 100 in multiples of 10 on pages 24 and 25. And then on Friday, we have our online learning feedback session. You'll notice that on this slide, I've also put two links. One is to the Oak Academy website where there are lessons linked in with our number bonds and the work that you're doing this week. So you could have a look at those. There's also some activities and some lessons linked in with this then on the BBC Bite Size site for year two. So have a little look at those if you'd like to do a little bit more. So this is the work then that you would be doing on Monday on related facts. You can see that we're thinking about uh, base 10 to show that three and five total eight or equal eight. So if we know that three add five makes eight, then we should know that 30 add 50 equals 80 because each of those is just 10 times bigger. So three, sorry, 30 is 10 times bigger than three, 50 is 10 times bigger than five, and 80 is 10 times bigger than eight. So it says, what is the same about your models and what is different? So have a think about the differences between those two number sentences. And then question two, it says Eva has two red pens, three blue pens. How many pens does Eva have? And so it carries on that, that thinking about those related facts and those relationships between numbers that will help you to solve problems. Remember, all you need to do is try your best. And if something is a little bit tricky, don't worry about it. You've got grown-ups that you can ask to help you. And if you're still unsure of what to do, then just miss it out and carry on. And then we'll go through it in our feedback session then on Friday. Useful strategies that you might use. You've got number tracks, number lines, and don't forget that rulers are number lines too. So you might have one of those at home that you can help or you can use to help you counting on and counting back. You can draw things out. You can use real objects. At school, we often use cubes, but you probably haven't got those at home. You might have little toys. You might use pencil crayons. You might use screwed up pieces of paper um, that you can use then to just practically count out and work out what it is that you're doing, help you to work out your answers. And then also using your partitioning, thinking about whether numbers are equal to, greater than or less than each other. So thinking about comparing those numbers. If you'd like to do some more, then great. Remember, you should only be doing the work that I'm asking you to, to, to do from your White Rose Math book. If you do want to do some more, you can go into your TTS booklet and you can do activities from that. You could have a go at Timetable Rockstars and do some practice on your times tables. You could also look at the Oak Academy lessons that I've mentioned previously and also the BBC Bite Size work too. If you don't want to do any more, then that's all right as well. For English this week, so we're still thinking about spelling, we're still thinking about grammar. So on Monday, you've got work at nine on pages 18 and 19. Tuesday, work at 10 on pages 20 and 21. Wednesday, work at 11 on pages 22 and 23. Thursday, work at 12 on pages 24 and 25. And then Friday is our online learning feedback. OK, and again, you'll see a link on this slide for the BBC Bite Size site, which again has lessons for year two all around spelling strategies um, and the work that you're doing then this week. So you might want to have a look at that. This is the work then for Monday, and you can see that you've got some warm up work where you're thinking about verbs. So remember that verbs are doing words. And then you've got some further work then on spellings. Okay. 
Remember, all you need to do is try your best. If something's tricky, don't worry. Ask grown-ups. They will help you. And if you're still not sure, then come to the feedback session Friday and we will work through it together. Useful strategies then, just remind us that capital letters are used for the start of sentences and for proper nouns, the so names of people, places and objects. And then end marks for sentences include full stops, question marks and exclamation marks. And then remind us that an adjective is a describing word, a verb is a doing word, so an action, something you do. And then a suffix is a string of letters added to the end of a sentence. If you'd like to do more, fantastic, but remember to only do the pages in your CPG book that I've asked you to do this week. If you want to do more, you can do more from your TTS pack. You could also go on to Reading Wise and have a go at some of the activities there. You could have a go at phonics play and do some of the games there to practice and reinforce your phonics. Or you could read some more books from the Oxford Owl site. But if you don't want to do any more, then that is OK too. For topic work this week, we've got a little bit more reading, okay? And in your topic pack, you've got a fact file about castles. So if you have a look through, you'll find that page and I've shown you a picture of what you're looking for on this slide, okay? So you need to read through the fact file. If you don't understand any of the words that are used, then you'll need to look them up and find out what they mean. So you could use a dictionary if you have one at home, you could ask an adult to explain what that word means to you, or you could have a look on the internet and use one of the online dictionaries to find out the meaning of that word too. But it's important that you understand what you've read before you start answering the questions, okay? When you do start answering the questions then, remember to answer in full sentences. And remember that you can use a colored pencil or highlighter to help you retrieve the answers from the text. So just like we do in school, we're using our reading dog skills and our Rex retrieval skills. So we're going into the text, we're highlighting and finding the answer, and then we're writing it down, okay? So the questions that you have are similar to these. So we've got questions like, what is a castle and what type of people live there? What is the link between castles, palaces, fortresses, and fortified settlements? We've also got, when were castles first built and how long have they been around for and so on so you will find the answers to those questions in the text so it's about going into the text highlighting and finding your answers and then recording them down on your answer sheet if you manage to do all of those questions then as an extra challenge an extra task you could have a look on the internet and see if you can find any information about the famous castles that are listed in your text and think about what interesting facts you can find out about them, okay? And there are some that are listed that are quite close to us. So places like Kenilworth Castle and Warwick Castle, they're not that far away. In fact, some of you may have visited those with your families already. Then finally, remember all we're asking you to do is just try your best. And if you feel you're getting frustrated or upset and it's just too much, then take a break. You can always go back to it later. Try to keep active and go for a walk with your family. You could even try an online PE session with Joe Wicks or join in with some of the Cosmic Kids, Kids Yoga. If you can, come back Friday to our next Zoom session and we'll see how everybody gets on. So take care and hopefully we'll see you on Friday. Okay, bye-bye.